bulbul is intensifying significantly in the Bay of Bengal today. It's currently got winds of 65 miles per hour and a pressure of 991 millibars. That's our estimate, pretty close to what the officials are saying. 15.2 north, 88.1 degrees east. On the CDPS, we're looking at the island of Shaimari in West Bengal for a potential landfall on November the 9th. It's a stage 5 on the CDPS that applies to many parts of West Bengal and also for parts of Bangladesh, so potentially devastating there when it strikes and could deliver up to 13 inches of rain, that's over 300 millimetres. Here it is right now presented on the map with a very small wind field at this time. Uh, that wind field will of course increase in size as the storm progresses towards the north, but at the moment not particularly large. 349 miles right now from Puri, 349 also from Shrikakulam, 363 from Visakhapatnam, 390 from Kuttak and 508 from Kolkata. Uh, from Bangladesh locations, generally between 5 and 600 miles. Signal 3 warning for coastal regions of Bangladesh at this time as well. That's a marine warning that's been issued there. Of course, expecting heavy rainfall across both of those regions um, as the storm arrives on Saturday. And here is a look at that rainfall depiction. So if you're looking for eastern India there, you can see the cutoff point where the rain really starts to uh, flow in. That's around the Kuttak region. Um, continuing northeast, uh, you're then under three inches of rain or higher, 75 millimeters over a large part there of West Bengal, the Ganges River Delta into Bangladesh. Um, large parts of the coastal region there and the thing is this storm could stall uh, when it arrives along the coast of Bangladesh which could be a terrible scenario um, we could see huge amounts of rain falling well above those three inches and possibly above 13. Sea surface temperatures fueling the storm as well at this point around 29 degrees Celsius it will start to cool off a little bit as it heads further north so you can see the green areas there just about on our screen uh, you'll see them starting to affect the land areas there they are Friday and Saturday so the green areas are on the land there that's tropical storm force winds gale force winds being felt inland as well as we get later on in the forecast period the models are saying different things GFS now wants it to go inland and dissipate some models still holding on to the idea that it will stall offshore and turn back around although it will be stalling so close to the land that it will have uh, significant impacts along the coast. Either way, it doesn't look like we're going to get away without any impacts here, unfortunately. Chance of tropical storm force winds then look like this. 60% at Kulna in Bangladesh, 50% at Barisal further east, 30% over in Kolkata, also 30% in the Bangladesh capital Dhaka, and also 30% in Komilla. Uh, this is what the models are saying at this point, uh, the HWRF still calling for a major hurricane equivalent category 3, uh, but the general consensus is high end cat 1, low end category 2 before weakening a little bit before making landfall, probably as a category 1. Wind shear starts to rise, sea surface temperatures fall a little bit, relative humidity starts to become less favourable, but you can see some of those models there as well. I assume that's an older run of the GFS that we're looking at there on that panel, taking it back towards the south, but the HWRF also calling for that at the moment. So here is the storm right now. This is really what we need to know at this point. It's certainly gathering pace. You can see towards the northern side, um, banding increasing, blowing up more convection, so the rainfall amounts may start to uh, increase already along the coastal regions there and certainly will in the next 24 hours as a storm draws nearer. We're still around 36 to 48 hours away from a potential landfall. That central core looking very strong at this point and we could be seeing an eye starting to appear pretty soon. It's a high-end tropical storm with more intensification likely. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com. You can also find our YouTube channel if you're not there already. You may well be. Good chance of that. Subscribe if you haven't. You can also find our Facebook page, search Force 13 all in text, and our Twitter handle, it's at Force 13 on there. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. You can see more information about all the benefits involved by visiting patreon.com forward slash force 13. With a special thanks to these people for being our most valued patrons this month. You can also check out our growing merch store so you can show force 13's colors wherever you go. You can also find a link to our discord server underneath this video in the description.